Welcome back to part two of my top picks for kitchen essentials for any home cook. This week we are going over some of the bigger items you might want to have in your kitchen. Just like before, there are a lot of things that anyone could have in their kitchen, but if you stick to this list, it'll make your time in the kitchen that much easier. Hit your comment, no surprise that I feel every home cook should have at least one pot, whether it's a really big one for boiling pasta or a medium sized one for heating up a can of soup maybe or a whole box of mac and cheese. Either way, every home cook needs at least one pot and they can range to be pretty darn expensive to pretty inexpensive depending on what they're made out of. Personally, I really love my cast iron pots. They're a little extra. You don't absolutely need cast iron, but they work really well. If you've seen most of my videos, you'll know I love my cast iron Dutch oven, which this is a really big cast iron pot with a lid. You can make sauces, you can fry things, you can bake bread, you can even put a roast in the oven for hours on end because it's cast iron, it's gonna retain its heat, and it's gonna hold up for a long time absolutely recommend you get one. Now, if you really don't want to go out and buy a bunch of different saute pans and nonstick egg pans, what have you, there is one pan that you will need above all else, a cast iron pan. This is essential for any cook. I don't care who you are, what your level is, get a nice cast iron pan. You can pretty much cook just about anything you want in this pan. You can put it in the oven, you can put it over a fire if you go camping, anything. They're extremely versatile. You just have to make sure you take care of it, oil it down, make sure it doesn't rust, don't wash it with soap and water, but this is the pan you need. Trust me. Now, if you're not ready to make the commitment of having a cast iron pan, well, that's okay, because there are a lot of other options out there, ranging from different materials to different sizes. But for any novice home cook, I would absolutely recommend you have at least one decent nonstick pan. Obviously, it's really great for eggs, but any protein, it's not going to stick to it. It's going to help you out a lot. And then from there, you can upgrade to stainless steel or any other type of saute pan, but make sure you have at least one decent saute pan in your kitchen. Now I know this next one can get a little expensive, but every home cook should have a high powered blender. And whether you go with the industry standard that is the Vitamix, or you could be like me and have a Ninja blender, either way, they're both great products and they're gonna make any soup, sauce, puree, smoothie, whatever, velvety smooth. And you can do so many more things with a high powered blender, make spice mixes, the list is endless. I use mine all the time. Every home cook should have a nice high powered blender. You're also gonna to wanna to have at least one cutting board and depending on the size of your kitchen and what you wanna do with it, there are a lot of options. They come in a lot of different sizes and are made of a lot of different materials. But regardless of what you have, just make sure you're keeping it stable. If it doesn't have rubber on it, a damp paper towel will work really, really well. Just make sure you have at least one decent cutting board. Lastly, and most importantly, every home cook should have a decent knife. A classic eight inch French knife just like this will work just fine for anyone regardless of your skill level. The only other two knives I would suggest having beyond a chef's knife is a paring knife and a utility knife. You can do a lot of different things with just these three knives alone. And when I say decent knife, I do not mean expensive. There are a lot of knives on the market and you just want to find something that feels really good in your hand and you can keep sharp. And if you don't know how to sharpen a knife, well then be sure to check out my video on knife sharpening. All right, the last thing I wanna go over today isn't necessarily a tool or a piece of equipment, but it is extremely important in any home kitchen, and that is salt and pepper. And you might think I'm being a little nitpicky about this, but trust me, when you know how to properly season your food, it changes the game totally. Just buy some good kosher salt, put it in a little ramekin like this where you can pinch it, feel the salt in your hand, know how much you're using. It's so important and kosher salt is just the best salt. And when it comes to pepper, do not buy pre-ground black pepper. There is absolutely zero reason for it. You can buy a big thing of black peppercorns and just buy a grinder like this and you're gonna have so much better pepper flavor on your food. 
And there you have it. Those are my kitchen essential recommendations for any home cook. But don't feel the need to have to go out and buy this stuff all at once. But if you come across something that's on sale or just a really good price, too good to pass up, just go ahead and get it. It's going to make your life in the kitchen that much easier. But if you have any questions about any kind of equipment, please let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.